Whenever we've been creating virtual machines so far in the demonstrations, we've been using marketplace images. These are provided for you in the marketplace. You know, they have various properties like a publisher, an offer, and a SKU attached to them. Some may charge you different fees depending on the software installed. But we also have the option of custom images. These are essentially do-it-yourself images that you can create yourself for use in Azure. There are a lot of benefits in this. For example, when you deploy a Windows VM from Azure, it's often not patched to the latest patch level. And it might make more sense for you to build an image that's already patched and then use that for creating your virtual machines. So custom images have two ways in which you can create them. In Windows, we first need to do sysprep. In Linux, we use sudo waagent deprovision plus the user. Then we will generalize the image in Azure and then create an image. Let's take a look at how we would create a Windows VM image in this demonstration. Let's head straight over to the Azure portal. Here we are in the Azure portal and let's go straight back into our virtual machine SLVM01 that we've been using in the previous demonstrations. Let's connect into it via RDP. And here we are in our virtual machine. What we first need to do is sysprep the machine itself. So let's go into sysprep. This can be found under c colon slash windows slash system32 slash sysprep. In there, you'll see a file called sysprep. Double click it. It opens up the system preparation tool and you'll need to choose a couple of things. First of all, we want to enter system out of box experience, OOBE. And secondly, we want to select the generalized box. Finally, under shutdown options, select shutdown. Click OK. Sysprep will begin working, and once it's completed, it will shut down your virtual machine. You do not want to power it on again at this stage. We'll fast forward here and come back to this process once it's completed. OK, so we fast forwarded here, and as you can see, we're out of our RDP session, and that's natural because the virtual machine had to shut down. You may notice this error up here. We recently resolved the problem with your virtual machine. If you select into that, you'll notice that it says the virtual machine is stopped as requested by an authorized user or by a process running inside the virtual machine. So this is perfectly normal. Let's go back out of there. And if we look, we can verify at the top, you know, our virtual machine is not started right now. We can start it if we want to. Its status is currently set to stopped. And now all we need to do is create our image. So what we do is select the capture icon at the top. It'll ask us to give it a name for the image and what resource group we want to use. So I encourage you at this point, create a new resource group. In my case, I'm going to call it sl-vm-images. And then you can also check the box to automatically delete this virtual machine after creating the image as well. So in this case, we're going to create the image in the new resource group and have Azure delete the machine straight away. Click Create. A task will begin. You can see that it tries to stop the virtual machine again, and it'll move on to subsequent tasks momentarily. And we'll fast forward again here and show you once it's completed. So as you can see here in Azure, we've now completed a number of the tasks. It successfully stopped the virtual machine, successfully generalized the virtual machine, created the image in our new resource group, and deleted our virtual machine. So if we go over to virtual machines again, close this notification window, you can see our Windows VM is no longer there. But if we go over to resource groups, we can see we have our new resource group, SL-VM images. If we go in there, we can see we have our image file. If we select into that one. We can now create a VM directly off that image. So on the top left here, you select this icon and you can build a VM from that image. Now, this is very useful as well because we could also install lots of packages. In addition to patching, as I mentioned, we can have agents, we can have other pieces of software and things that we just want to bake into the image itself, store it as a template here, and then deploy over and over again. And with that, this concludes this demonstration.